Well, look, why is the camera doing this? Those lines. I don't know. Is that gonna show on the film? I hope not. Is it the dimmed lights? Try the dimmed lighting, Ch change it. That helped a little. What do you think? Just try it? Just try it. Okay. Hello everybody. I am sad today. I um, told Kyle I feel the D word today. For our household, the D word means depressed. And that's what I feel today. Um, because of cancer, because I'm sick all the time. I've been sick for two years. Um, like, sick every day for two years. Um, I couldn't go to Ellis's first soccer game today because it was outside in the sun and it was 103 degrees. And um, Kyle, after he came home, he said it would have just done me in. There's no way I could have done it. So I don't know if that's what all the games are gonna be like or some of them, but it just had me bummed. And so Kyle has a special date night plan to cheer me up. Gigi, his mom, took the kids. She has them at her house and she's gonna have a fun sleepover with them. Thank you, Gigi, for doing that with them. Uh, we love that they can have fun sleepovers with you. And Kyle took me to the Grand Californian Hotel in the Grand California, California Adventure Park, theme park. It's the hotel in there. So it's like Disneyland. But not, he's sunburnt from the game. <laughs> this is what happens when mom doesn't go. Kyle and the kids don't have sunblock on. Yeah, we were all sunburnt. I wonder what they look like, poor babies. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is the hotel in California Adventure. Kyle will give you a tour now. Okay, room tour of the Grand Californian. First, we have a wall. Look at that. That it's is. A nice parking spot for. <laughs> it's actually a really nice little nook for Jenny's mobility scooter. As long as we have the door. We need to put that tag on the other side of the door. We do. So that they don't open the door. But um, so we start out with just this little hallway. The Grand Californian is themed after like the redwoods and forests. So California. So when we're walking through, whoops. When we're walking through, you get a bunch of beautiful trees. And we'll show you guys the we'll show you some walk around stuff. Hotel. It's beautiful. So Here you can hang your coats, even though it's 98 degrees outside. Here we got our bathroom. Hi. Beautiful bathroom. Jenny's oxygen, can't forget that. Look at this little stool with Mickey head on it. That's a nice touch. Our kids are gonna kick our butts. Beautiful mirror, let's go over here. They will. I'm so sad that they're not here, but they had a slumber party plan with Gigi. So. They did. The beautiful woman does not come with the room. That's just Jenny. We got a nice TV with our welcome oranges. sign on it. Orange groves on the wall. Oranges and what orange groves. The coffee field. The orange, or lemons? Are those lemons or oranges on the tree? I think those are oranges. Can you see the picture with the poppies hanging? Where? To the left. Oh, there's poppies. Jenny loves poppies. All this lighting up here, follow my finger, it all dims. I have it yes. set at that. It's really cool. And then look, Uncle Michael will appreciate this. Is that Chip or Dale? I think it's a red nose. That's Chip. Is that no, Chip? That's Dale. Is that Dale? That's Dale, because it's the red one. So we have to find Chip. Oh, there he is. 
Look at that. And these lights next to the bed, they dim. Look at that. They gave us a room with two beds, we said why not. And the best part, here's our balcony. Let's show you our view. It's silent in here right now, but when you open the what door. What is that? Whoop. What is that? We're in California Adventure. We are in the theme park. We're in the park. So there you've got the water. You've got the Golden Zephyr ride right there. You've got the Jellyfish ride right there. You got the Incredicoaster right there, the Ferris wheel. Goofy Sky School, literally I could smell it. It's right here. You could, read, you could probably throw something to it. Hit it. Look at that. Don't do that. Those people having fun. The Incredicoaster, which is a scary one. Look at that. World of Color is going to be going off, and we can see it from our room. Oh, we can watch it from We can our watch room. it from right here. Oh, we should. So. We have Disneyland passes and California Adventure passes, so why not enjoy the hotel, like these being our seats, <laughs> while, right here. while the show's going on? Right. Because. Never gonna get this again. Brain radiation. Um, yeah, we're not gonna be in the hotel again. So let's enjoy it from here. This is so cool. When I booked it, I said, Can I, I please get a theme the park view? Right Look at that. Oh, yeah. This is where we're gonna have breakfast, maybe dinner. I don't know. Beautiful. Wow, I really hope you guys enjoyed that tour. We filmed that when we first got here. <laughs> um, and now we're laying in bed. We're gonna go find a fancy restaurant to eat in. I brought a really cute outfit. I hope it fits because I've never tried it on. You did. Did I? Mm -hmm. With your headband. I did? Mm -hmm. I don't recall. This brain radiation that I recently got has me having some short term memory loss. Just here and there, nothing big. But hopefully it goes away. Um, so we're gonna get dressed. He's not so fancy, so that's okay. What? Well, Your outfit? Did you bring a fancy outfit? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Like not fancy, but like... For Disneyland fancy. Better than what I'm looking like now. Yeah, okay, so we will get dressed. Oh, we have to tell them about when we checked in. Will you tell that story since I want to relax? Yeah. Here. Um, you can tell it however. <clears throat> so when we checked in... <laughs> oh. oh wow, thank, thank you. you so thank much. You. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, it goes with your story, huh? Right? Story, so should we wait? Should we tell the story? Let me tell the story. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so a very nice room service Don't gentleman see what it is yet. came and delivered something. <clears throat> so when we checked in. We're oohing and aahing over thing, and you know, I get in this like fancy mode when we stay somewhere like this. Uh -huh. I'm like, oh yeah, valet the van. Can you and, me in a little? Yeah. You can, oh, there you go. Yeah, and so then we're walk they're greeting us and they're bringing us to their check-in desk and they say, so are we celebrating anything? And I said, no, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I said, uh, our love. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, oh great, da 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 da. And then, and then I, I said, He's in charge of date night. Yeah. To be funny, because I clearly look like, you know, mm -hmm. this is why this is our date night. Right. And um, so then the front desk lady's talking, and then it turned into this, this is, is a different girl helping us. Yeah. She brings us up to the desk and tells the front desk girl. Um, they're celebrating their nine year anniversary, wedding you know, anniversary. You know. She said, Well, how long have you been together since we're just celebrating love? Mm. And. Kyle said, we've been together, married nine years. Nine years, yeah. For some reason with me, like, being sick, everyone asks how long we've been together. And um, so the front desk lady turned it into, well, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. And sorry for interrupting the whole story when I said, Kyle, can you tell us? <laughs> and uh, Someone's probably, Jenny should not be interrupting if... I can't yeah. remember stories. And then anyway, so now it's our anniversary apparently and everyone's wishing us a happy anniversary. Yeah, it's really funny. Then we got a random knock on the door. They asked us if we're any dietary restrictions and I said, yeah, we're plant-based. Okay, and I saw her making little notes and I'm like, all right. She seemed nice. Yeah. And then uh, 
we got a knock at the door, an unexpected knock on the door right now from a kind gentleman, and he delivered this. It's a plant-based dessert, and look what it says on the plate. Look at that dessert. We're starting the fancy night off right. So we're gonna share that. A way to start our night. My dad would be very proud of us. Oh yeah. They are so I sweet. I call them. about to walk into the park but we had a minor hiccup. Jenny had uh, started to have an aura migraine. So I've just been rubbing her head. She's been closing her eyes. Usually that helps. And then we'll try to make a try to make it back in or try to make it down. <laughs> we haven't left yet. We got all ready and then I started having a migraine with aura. I, I don't know how they call it but the doctor that I saw about this years and years ago, he called it an aura migraine. And that's what I started having. Um, so Kyle's rubbing my head, we're waiting for it to pass, and then we're gonna go into the park. Oopsie, sorry baby. I told her we should just order room service, put on the robes and slippers, <laughs> call it a night. Mm, I wanna go to the park. But she's determined. Yeah. We'll see. All right, for today's runway, first up we have Kyle. <laughs> Kyle is wearing a Lion King theme inspired outfit. We'll start with the hat. As you can see, Lion King. You can go forward and show everybody what's up or you can go backward and make them guess. <laughs> We've got the Simba inspired corduroy um, flannel. Which I'll probably wear because I'm cold. Yep. Yeah. And then this is like a salmon color, you know, very lion esque. I don't think it's salmon, oh. sweetie. Yeah, it's like pinkish. It looks like banana. No, no, no. no. Like Guys, vote. Is that a banana colored shirt or salmon color? It's a reflection of your dress. No, but salmon. And or I mean banana. We have a sand colored Nike. Very lion esque, huh? Carol's really into finding plant-based Nikes Damn. and by plant-based like it's made out of fake leather instead of real leather. leather this is obsession action next up we have Jenny look at that beautiful Lion King inspired outfit we'll start with that spunky yellow dress because it just pops out and says hello beautiful flowy yellow dress don't forget the Simba Lion King ears. Look at those. Oh, it's a little blurry, come on. Yeah. Okay, there they are. <laughs> Look at those sitting right on top of that beautiful head. She's gorgeous. It was freezing in there. We didn't even make it out of the hotel without <laughs> me taking this jacket. <laughs> That's good. There's our hotel. There's where we exited the hotel. There's the park. <laughs> Always wanted to do that. We're checked in, ready to go. That was it. Let's go. We booked mommy's favorite ride. Soren. Soren. I am editing right now and I just wanted to pop on and say that Soren has not always been my favorite ride. I've always loved it, but it's my favorite ride since I've been developing disabilities because it's slow, smooth, easy, and it's nice, relaxing. Um, but to my kids in the future, 
Mommy liked wild rides before I was sick. My favorite rides before this were Space Mountain and Indiana Jones. First stop is vegan meatballs because my doctor, my oncologist, emphasizes how important it is for me to get protein in during this post, um, post full brain and spine radiation. I thought I had this good time, well timed, to where Kyle was gonna walk up right up and I was gonna show him to you guys right now with the meatballs, but apparently, oh I did time it well. So here's Kyle with our meatballs. Okay, I did tell you all. You didn't know where we were? Oh, you were getting cutlery. Cutlery. I wasn't counting for the cutlery. So we have um, meatballs, vegan meatballs and spaghetti. Spaghetti and meatballs. Got a protein. Kyle got a soda. A baby water. What's the baby water? Oh, I'll need to get a bigger water. Thank you, honey. Meatballs, protein going in for my strength. All right, guys, I don't buy these lounge fly backpacks for myself because they're very pricey and I don't really need them. I have been given one, one or two by a viewer. Uh, ooh, one for sure. For one for sure, um, which I love, thank you. And, but look how cute this Halloween one is. It's really cute. It's so cute, the orange and black. And then my kids each have one that they got for their birthdays or something. It's really nice. Um, that one's so pretty. If you're looking for a Halloween backpack, it's here at California Adventure. are back in our room. It is 12.03 a.m. and Kyle's gonna show you he's spying at the park. Since we have the view of the Grand California Adventure at night, he's spying, he said. So he's gonna go take you on a spy journey. <laughs> if you ever wanna know what goes on after hours, for one, on this ride right here, there's two gentlemen walking through with flashlights. I'm assuming trying to find missing items. It's kind of hard to see. Look at that. Just going through, walking through with flashlights. And then I was zooming over here and there's literally cars driving through. And now I'm hearing them and they are like, um, Almost uh, trash scooper uppers. They're just rolling through. Look at this ride still going. What's up with that? Things you see at night. Did you like spying on the park? No, I felt uncomfortable. Because you were afraid they could see you or hear you? <laughs> yeah, and I was worried that the other hotel guests... Were listening? Below and above were listening. Probably were. Yeah, so I got embarrassed. But it's cool to see what's going on at night. I'm going to keep peeking out if I wake up to go pee or something. I'm in pain right now, you guys. Tell them what I did today. Like I delayed. So we had a rough morning where you had to rest all morning mm -hmm. so in that um 
I got behind with she my got pain She got behind medicine. with all of her meds, and then I was gone at the soccer game, so she got a little bit behind there, and then us getting distracted and having a good time. Cheering me up. Trying to cheer her up. Got me more behind. More behind, and then here we are, and now she's in a lot of pain, and I was like, I think it's a accumulation of but it's good we were having fun yeah we were well except for this morning yeah but this evening we were having fun that's why we got behind yep so that's good and um we ordered room service i'm excited for that uh we'll show you what that is when it comes up here i'm excited i'm so sleepy but i'm excited for the room service and I'm sleepy too, but I feel like I just want to stay up and be a rebel because the kids aren't here. No I offense. Know. And I just want to stare at the view. It's so cool. Me too. We had the spaghetti and meatballs to get some protein in me, so I had some strength. Then I we did the grand... No. Why do I keep saying grand? Grand, grand, Because you're grand. staying at the grand. You feel grand. grand. I'm sorry, you guys. We went to Soren. That was fun. We never get to go together because someone always has to stay off with Winnie, Kyle. Yep. And um, then we went shopping, and then we ran into some friends that we met through Ellis's school. Yep. And shopped a little more, <laughs> and came up here. I would have spent more time shopping, but I wanted to make the room service time. Yeah, that's why we came up. So I was like, eh, let's just call it. I don't need that. Let's go. Yeah. But we like window shopping. I know tomorrow I'll, I'll, I might make some bad decisions. What, what were you eyeing? I'm eyeing the Ursula Spear jersey. Ooh, Ursula. She's a good villain. And I was eyeing... Um, a couple Halloween things, I think, but I can't remember. Yeah, we need to get something Halloween. Did I get Halloween ears? You did. You I got did. some good Those ones. Those are good. Why Those don't... are classic. Oh. Why don't I show my Halloween ears I got? These are my ears I bought for the Halloween season. Those are good. Cute. Classic. And then while we were getting my ears for you guys, we got our room service. Do you want to bring the tray closer to me yeah. so I can show them? I'll show you guys. Hang on. Here is our room service. More meatballs, Kyle. I guess we shouldn't have gotten meatballs in the park. <laughs> Wasn't thinking there. Our grandma and couscous. And then that's like a virgin, virgin. A mocktail, strawberry. That looks so smash. good. Can I try it too? Absolutely. I never reach for his um, mocktails. mocktails, but that looks really good. It's refreshing and I'm parched. Our camera is making these squiggle lines, but only when I hit record. Do you guys see this or is it just me? Is there something I can change to where it doesn't do that? I'm gonna try. Kyle told me to smell it. It's kind of a weird. Oh, he said smell it, duh. Oh, it smells really good. What's at the bottom? Oh, it's like a strawberry puree at the bottom. That's really good. <laughs> That's a hearty drink. She likes my mocktail. It's good. You guys, there's a point to his mocktails. They're like a quality drink. I see why he gets them. People ask, what's the point of getting a mocktail if there's no alcohol? Time. But I'm telling you, they're really good. I would get that again. And I don't get special drinks, I always get water. We call any drink that's not water a special drink. Right. <laughs> Ooh, a little grapefruit just in there too. That's good. Show sure these. Mm. Look at how cute those are. The salt and the pepper shaker. They gave us oranges just to be healthy. Oh, it's a Mickey. Oh, it's a Mickey. Here, honey. You want me to hold Mickey? 
Let's see if I can do. Mickey! I'm gonna eat those, those sound good. I need to figure out these lines. Okay, more updates. Now, going straight out. Let's see if I can zoom. There is uh, some people on the water. And they look like they're looking in the water for stuff. <sighs> Bet you didn't know they did that at night. <sighs> I didn't. And then now this ride is completely in the lights now. They got all the lights on, like the emergency lights on, searching for anything they can find. I don't know. Cars land lights are back on, they were off for a minute. Oh, what goes on at night at Disneyland? Oh, flashlights. See? They're on to me. Look at, just looking around. Looking, look. I wonder what they find on there, huh? Change, cell phones, hats. I don't know. Update you guys soon. There's the food up close. Yummy yum yum. I am sitting, whew, trying different positions because I'm in pain. Here's Kyle and how he likes the food. Love you guys. The food is really good. It's a lot of food, but it is scrumptious. <laughs> I usually bring a uh, pain cane. <laughs> Sounds cool. A pain cane around with me. It's like a plastic S, or one of them is like a plastic J, and it has these knobs on it, and it helps put pressure on these pain spots, and it will relieve it. But I forgot my, I'll bring one or the other, the J or the S, and I forgot both of them. You think they're in the van? No. And it's hard because we did valet, so, but, so I'm just trying to do these positions. He was my pressure hook when the food was on its way up, but now he's eaten. He likes it. I'll get to the food, but I just need to get the medicine to kick in, and then I can enjoy more. This is cancer, guys. <laughs> Alright, Kyle's log. Episode 172. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm seeing scuba divers in the water. If you haven't been to California Adventure, this is a huge water, I don't know, ocean, lake, I don't know what they call it. In the, I don't know what it's called. In the middle of the park, and I could have sworn I saw Ah, you see that right there, that flashing light? People are in the water. So I don't know if they're doing construction in there, if they're doing the, if they're fixing the light bulbs in there for World of Color, or if they're searching for missing iPhones in the water. I'm sure people drop a lot in there. It looks like they lower the water level at night to work on all the technical stuff for World of Color because that all looks like part of the show all those computer chips and stuff so maybe that's what they're doing they make sure everything is looking good light bulbs fixtures man what a job that looks intense learn something new every day that's usually all underwater right there oh See that? Uh, I thought I saw another flashing light. Hmm. Okay, there were people that just went by in a little tiny boat. Okay, is this just fascinating to me? They literally rode by in a little boat. 
I don't know where they went. Somewhere over there. We just see it? Oh, see it right there. They're just going around the lake. Oh, is that a car? No, that's that's a boat. It's a little tiny Disney boat. And they're just, whoa, whoa. There's somebody there. Oh, see, they're parking the boat. Or car. I can't tell what that is. Just came out of the water. These are the true heroes of Disneyland right here. All the after hours people. They are looking at like the programming stuff and man, all the bells and whistles and the cords, checking everything, safety. There's been tons of trash trucks, leaf blowers, water sprayers going on tonight. I don't know how they fit all this in. The park opens in another six hours. They move quick. All right, well, date night is struggling. Jenny has had pain since we got back. Nausea, migraine. And now in this bag, there's a little bit of throw up. She's just not feeling too hot. It's about two in the morning now. But this is cancer. No hiding it. Whether you have fun or not, you know? Just kind of sometimes bites you in the butt. A lot. But you're hanging tough. Thanks, baby. Mm-hmm. After I threw up, poor Kyle went over to the closet and got the extra blanket and pillow bag <laughs> and took out the pillow. And I looked at the other bed and the other bed has zero pillows on it. So I have, what is that, eight pillows <laughs> for my stack right here. And it's because I have pains. You guys know I have to sleep like at a, an incline. So, I took all of the pillows, whoops. I'm so sorry, my Kyle. Now he has a pillow. <laughs> it was a couch pillow, which we all know you're not supposed to sleep on those, so. <laughs> whoops, I didn't mean to do that, honey. It's okay, you can have them all. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning from our room. Good morning, Goofy Sky School. With nobody on it. It's a beautiful morning. Good morning, little snug buck. Good morning. Doing okay? I still have a headache. Bad Did you end up falling asleep last night? Mm -hmm. Good. Still have a headache. But we got Mickey shaped waffles on the way. Maybe that'll help. Something's coming. Huh? You feel the tray. Like shaking down the hall. No. Not yet. I thought I felt it. Not yet. I'm excited. I'm excited. And then I said, if you have a balcony facing the park, you've got to have a cup of coffee. So we're going to make a cup of coffee. Oh, got to fill that with water. to you guys with my eyes closed. Do we have eye drops, babe? I need to do eye drops because I have dry eyes, but we don't have them. Um, there was no more throwing up last night, which is a good thing. Yay. And I slept well. Did you sleep well? Yeah. I just woke up once to use the restroom. You did? Yeah. And that was it. What about you? 
No, I, th I thought it would take more time to wake you to get your help. And you know, I have to kind of yeah. rush to the toilet lately. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. I woke up one time in a hot sweat and then went to the restroom. And huh. Huh. But it was cold in here. I don't know why I was sweating. I get hot in the night. Yeah. And maybe we were able to cuddle a little more than normal. Yeah. Because you were warm from your sunblock yeah, or sunscreen or sunburn. sunburn and then so when I cuddled you I felt good toasty oh, yeah. we got a spa appointment to, to get pedicures I haven't had a pedicure this whole time I've had cancer and I'm the type of person who likes to get a pedicure but I rarely trust a nail salon to be completely sanitary. If you don't know about nail salons, they can have an autoclave, which is the highest form of disinfectant for a nail salon, and blah, 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 other ways of disinfecting. So I was like the cleanest ones. And you see these horror stories on the TV of bad pedicures gone wrong where they get a toe infected for their whole life um, so I've not gotten one this whole cancer journey and then I finally said you know what Disneyland is probably following all the rules and being very clean so let's go ahead and do it I love getting a pedicure and I'm struggling to reach my feet with my lungs so Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna say a prayer that all goes well. And hopefully it does. Right, babe? Oh yeah, it's gonna go well. It's gonna go well. We thought this pillow shot was funny. Not funny in a sense of like, ha <laughs> but just funny in a sense of, Jenny's got all the pillows stacked here because she needs it. I believe it. I have eight. And then here's Kyle's area. <laughs> Such a gentleman. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Right. Tie your napkins round your neck and oh sorry. Vegan uh -huh. Mickey waffles and some fresh fruit for the lady. Mm. That's for me? Yep. You know I love fruit. Thank you, honey. Yeah. The orange juice tastes <gasps> freshly squeezed. Right, babe? So, so fresh. fresh. And I am loving the fruit right now. It's so good. Love you. Love you. Be careful. Ask for help when you need it. Okay. <laughs> Don't be afraid, they're very nice. Love you. Love you too. Sorry about that, Kyle is bringing our stuff to valet. It'll stay in the car till we leave. We're only gonna be here for a little bit longer, but I stole his pillow while he was doing that. So now I have nine pillows. Nine pillows, you guys. Do, 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 do. There's more under my back and there's more on the side over here, somewhere back here. So I have nine pillows going on, but it's all worth it because it gives me comfort and my pain is better after sleeping. I need to call Kyle to make sure he remembers to keep my medicine on us. Okay, bye. And I realized we're just talking like normal here with me in the same outfit as yesterday or last night. Kyle is, has been in charge of our packing since the cancer has gotten worse and he didn't pack his outfits for today so I'm re-wearing last night's outfit because it's fun. I could have worn the outfit we wore here, 
or this, and I chose this. Kyle is wearing a mix of his pajamas and the shirt he wore yesterday. He's gonna hopefully give me my jacket if I need it. His jacket, his flannel, because I get I get chilly and I need sun coverage, so hopefully he'll share. He gets hot, so he'll probably share. Dental kit. I was heading out the door and I forgot to brush. Luckily they have a dental kit. The spa just called us and said, come on down. Come on down. And then we wanted to come in here to California Adventure to do a couple things, but it's the, the boardwalk where you can play games, but it's the hottest day of the year. Everybody is miserable. And we decided we're just gonna get some food, we got some, and bounce and go get the kids. It's miserable. Yeah, everyone is like, <laughs> just it, everyone's struggling. So we're gonna eat and get out of here. Let me show you our food. So we got our potato tacos, some rice. Um, we're, so we're gonna eat this as fast as we can and then go. <laughs> we left the park and I am so exhausted. I don't wanna film and chat right now, to be honest with you guys, but I will resent myself, or I will be mad at myself if I don't do it. So I'll say, well, what happened? Because I watch these videos just like you guys do where I like to look back and see what happened. So we got our nails done, yay. The nail tech's name was Jenny. I haven't had my nails done in so long, like a pedicure at a salon. So it was really nice getting pampered. Kyle said he liked it too, right? I loved it. Yeah, and then we went, what did we do after that? To the shop oh, we went the to the hotel. shop at the salon. They had really nice stuff in the salon shop. I bought some flip-flops because the sandals I was wearing would mess up my toenails, and so I didn't want to mess up my toenails. So I bought some flip-flops, and Kyle got some men's slippers. Yes. They had cute, cozy men's slippers, and we can't really find that anywhere ever. Then we got the kids a couple of things. They had Mickey soap. So we bought the Mickey soap for their bathroom. And then they had a good smelling manly one that Kyle has for his bathroom. For our bathroom. And I got one for me. Never buy it. <laughs> um, I'm so tired. We went in the park to eat our lunch and we instantly regretted it. It was sweltering. The California sun is way too much. So I'm all red. I'm overheated. Well, I'm 
this is from radiation, but um, I'm overheated from the heat. I was in a bucket hat, as you guys saw. That's one of the things I bought, a bucket hat, because I knew I wouldn't survive this fresh bald head in the sun. And I don't think I would have if I didn't have that bucket hat. And as soon as we finished eating, we got the car and we're going to get the kids. So Ellis and Wayne, here we come. I got my babies back, babies back, babies back. I got my babies back, babies back, babies back. Ellis, Winnie, my girl. <laughs> Hi guys, I missed you. Mm -hmm. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. With Gigi? I missed you and I love you. Yeah, yeah that's all you have to say. You, you, <laughs> you missed me too. And you love me too. Oh, thank you guys. Kyle's mom <laughs> called us and realized that Kyle took her keys with him when he left. His mom lives about an hour and a half away from us, right? Mm, yeah. And... We got about a quarter of the way home. Maybe a little over a quarter. Whatever that means. And he had his, her keys in his pocket. And so he has to go bring them back and give them to her. So we're heading back that way. <laughs> I'm gonna try to nap. And oh, Wynn is already napping. Did she? Maybe I'll steal her sleeping bag. If it was summertime still and they didn't have school, I'd say, all right, we're finding a nice hotel out here. This is gonna be cool. I know. But Kyle has to be responsible. That's right. Okay, I meant to give this to you, babe, when we were at the hotel. I wrapped it and brought it with us, but I totally forgot. <laughs> I didn't see it. Because of everything we were doing. But you got a little something. Thank you. A little surprise. Okay. Okay. You might need something sharp for it. <laughs> Does this think what I think it means? Well, I should open it up. I need a knife. Let me get you. Oh, what is that? <laughs> it says, do you remember? Your first subscriber, your 100th subscriber, or your 1,000th subscriber, chances are you do. And we know that you'll definitely remember your 100th subscriber. 100,000th? 100th subscriber. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, or maybe showed you showed up as a recommended video no matter how they came across your channel your audience stayed and their numbers increased because of you and the community you've built we're proud to honor you your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 100,000 100,000 subscribers with the silver creator award congratulations it's Whoa. an award! Oh! oh my god! Flower. Get up, jealous girl. You got a hundred thousand <laughs> subscriber plaque. <laughs> oh my goodness. Isn't this beautiful? Let me zoom in on it. There's a little blemish. I have to keep it fresh. One hundred thousand subscriber creator <laughs> award from Mama. Look at that. Oh, 
shit up. Well, that's going up on the wall right there. Yeah, I don't know where. Front and center. It is. Let's see it, Mom. I need to polish it up a little better. Presented to Jenny Appleport for passing 100,000 subscribers. Oh, goodness. Look at you. A lot of people love you. Oh, thank you guys. I love you too. I'm literally shocked. It's hard to keep it I started you. my channel to make videos for fun because I really did enjoy it. Then I thought when he was a baby, oh, well, maybe I can like start a channel where I get subscribers. I'll make like little food videos for how to feed your toddler and stuff like that. And I didn't really keep up with that. And then when I was diagnosed with cancer, I thought, okay, I need to document this journey for my children and my husband. And I need to, because I thought it meant what it now means. Um, and then, so I started documenting a little bit, but not too much. And then I said, honey, I can't keep up with updating everyone. It's texting and um, calling too many people. It's really hard on me. So I'm just going to post it on YouTube and tell everyone to go check out the YouTube videos because I can't keep up with these updates. And so then it turned into this. Strangers following me, wanting updates. Not just my family and friends. And now you've all become family and friends. And it means so much to me. So thank you so much. I am so grateful. And hopefully this journey will keep going for a long time to where I'm here for a long time. So stay, stay with me, guys. I think we can do this. I think we can beat it. I think I can be a miracle or the one that fights the odds or something. I don't know, I'm determined to be here with my family. And so thank you. Congratulations. A lot of hard work in that. A lot of tears. A lot, a lot of, of love. A lot of editing. Yeah. You earned it. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and continues to watch and support my beautiful wife and our family. We appreciate you. Love you. Love you. Thank you guys. Bye.